Hello everyone, Deadeye here, and we're back with Yakuza Kwame, where we last left off. Well, we did quite a lot last episode. It was a two hour long video that I'm going to end up splitting into two parts. And it's going to be something I'm gonna, I think I'm going to be doing from now on. Um, so anyways, um, we did a lot of family stuff last episode, so we needed info, so we went to the florist. When we got there, he didn't have any info. He did talk about, I think it was uh, his daughter running off, or... No, excuse me, it was his son running off with the daughter of a uh, Yakuza person. Anyways, uh, we went to help them out because they were getting attacked for stealing money. Very similar to what's happening to me from the Yakuza. But we were able to settle them and the uh, Yakuza boss of the uh, daughter was able to, I don't know, apologize and let everything go straight, I guess. And then we came back and Date-san was having problems with his daughter. Uh, she, he, he, he stood her up, wasn't able to pick her up from school or whatever, and then she was apparently out trying to get money by selling herself to pay off the debt of her boyfriend, but it was all a scab, her boyfriend was in on it. And we had to interrupt that and Date San helped, and, uh, we helped them get along with his, his, him get along with his daughter. So, it was all about the, uh, daughter-father relationships last episode. And then we saw the cutback with Nishiki, and uh, Shimano was there, um, basically adding to the paranoia that he's uh, just a pawn in a, a game by Kazuma. Basically, that's where we were last left last episode. So this episode um, is Date-san out here. Date-san, I was the case of the incident, I was the one well, it's an old story. Oh, that's right as well, yes. Um, oh, this is part of the conversation we missed. Respectful. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, uh, he had a meeting with his chief, and apparently they told him to drop uh, the case, which I'm assuming is the 10 billion yen case. Uh, they're looking into him, his dealings, I guess, with me? Anything else to say? Let me know when you find something out. Yeah, so we are... What are we doing? Oh, they found... That's the other thing. They found a body that has the same tattoo of Mizuki. And we are going to who we suspect is the tattoo artist to have some info, I guess. Okay. So. That is actually not probably going to be happening right this moment. What is happening this moment is probably what my new plan is going to be. So it seems like every episode you're able to run around... And do stuff until you start the main quest, really. And then you're on the main quest line. Until the chapter ends. And I want to run around and do these side stories and things. But I don't want to, you know, have a long-ass video. So, what I'm... The heck was that echoing? Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is, for the first part, before I do the chapter scenario quest, I am going to be running around doing side stuff. Like, beating up Majima and stuff, because uh, we're getting pretty good on that. I think we're almost got our first finisher. Like, we need to save that person getting beat up over there. But we'll do that in a moment first. We're going to talk to the drunk man. Drunk man. Drunk. I don't... I'll help you in a minute over there, sir. I'm going to walk by without saying nothing. You again. You're the guy who got me a drink before. You use that thing I gave you yet? Yeah, I'm sure that 10 yen went to something or other. We gave it to the kid, didn't we? By the way, Mr. D, still have some booze by chance? Is that enough? I can do this forever. Bring me more drinks, I'll give you something even better this time. As long as it's alcohol. Nope, I want top shelf this time. I mean, hankering for some scotch whiskey. Yo, that's expensive. Something even better, huh? He'll give me 10 yen again. Should I buy him some scotch? Yeah, so I'm gonna run around and do side quests on this episode. And then I will go and do uh, the main scenario quest. It's not Final Fantasy 17. <laughs> 17? 14? This is uh, the, the main storyline. Not main scenario quest. Uh, next episode, okay? Hey, stop beating him up. 
bruised. You're gonna be lucky if you can walk. Get him! Uh, I spent my hundred and so points into abilities, but like last time, I've probably forgotten what they were. Hit him and then drop kick him. Into the wall, into the wall. Couple of body punches and then into the vending machine. I'm a beast. Hey, give me some scotch, dude. I, uh, <laughs> we're rescuing you. Please don't hit me anymore. Yes. Oh, fuck me, really? Scotch whiskey. They put that there, okay. Jeez. Here you go. This is the person I talked to for my hundredth time. Here you go. You hand it over, scotch whiskey. Do you know why they call this drink scotch whiskey? Is it just the name of the alcohol? It's more the name of the country's made a whiskey made in Scotland. That's called a scotch. Bourbon whiskeys are made in Kentucky, America. They make their whiskey from corn. Hick. Even though it's called a whiskey, it's different. Pretty different from region to region. You got it, mister. Japanese whiskey is made to fit traditional Japanese tastes. But I think scotch really has the best taste to it. I'll probably never use that information, but that's some fun trivia. Can you give me that better thing now? Something better than before. A 500 yen reeking of alcohol. Hey! What is this? Something better than last time. I mean, I just gave you a whole 500 yen. Sheesh. It's like an allowance. Just be grateful and take it. Fucker. Yeah, I uh, upgrade abilities. Yeah, these are my current ability numbers. Um, mostly done all of the three abilities and a lot of the ten abilities too. I'm gonna try this on someone. Someone's guarding. Twist their face in front of a guarding enemy. That's in blue style. Can't change styles while I'm not in a fight. Um, we have to go over here for some reason. Don't remember why. So let's go over there. Can I get essence of running faster and longer? I'd appreciate that, I think. Majima's not hanging out here anymore. Oh. You all want to fight? Alright. I need I need essence of face twisting. I need to try it out on you all. Ow? Alright. No, he's up still. Alright. Guard. What are you doing, idiot? I want to grab you. Ah. So, let's actually look at it again. Slip past the guarding enemy's defense. Grab their face, then twist and stomp them into submission. Only usable in climax heat mode. Right, I'm in climax heat mode, right? Red, right? In front, just why in front of a guarding enemy? Guard. 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 See, that's... Is that not guarding? Or, Guard. Well, that was... What was that little bitch punch you tried there? Come on. Guard. Guess that wasn't actually guarding. Alright, well, anyways. Taken out. He's crazy strong. Uh, is it down here? It's over a little bit. What was this over here? Don't remember. Oh. Hello. Yakuza. Oh, who's this guy coming from behind? Look at him. Ah, fuck. Oh, yeah, I got a thing from stepping up, yeah. Yo! Mega headbutt. Maybe I don't have enough heat uh, bars to do some of these things. That might be why I'm having problems. Come here. Come here next to the car. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. I didn't hit whatever it was. Oh. Oh. 
anyways, taken care of. Looking for Majima. Have, you, have any of you seen him around lately? What side story is this? You look like a man about town. Interested in checking out a bikini bar? Have a blast for only 3,000 yen. Why'd I, why'd I click do that? <laughs> this wasn't a side story, is it? Welcome. I'll show you to your seat. Okay. This is an okay seat. I'm getting in trouble again. What the fuck is this stuff in this game? Lady, what is going on with your model? I'm gonna skip. Ready to leave? Uh, yeah, I guess. That wasn't the thing. I don't think I better get going. No, can't go back here. Deep black. Okay. Yo, I'm looking for... Oh, Jesus Christ. Guess that wasn't what I'm looking for. Who am I looking for? You... I'm looking for you. <laughs> Salary, man, this is bad. I can't watch the show because I forgot my glasses. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is who I meant to talk to. Glasses. Almost got me some glasses. Give him the glasses. Boy. You can see if these work for you. Yeah. You actually gave me some glasses. That's so generous. It's nothing much, but why don't you take this? Got super strength adhesive tape. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do with this? My friend, that tape is no ordinary adhesive. I work at a stationary manufacturer, and that tape is the next generation of adhesive. Our company has uh, poured tons of money into its development. I can say proudly that no other tape can compare to it. Is that so? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> now I can enjoy this bikini bar to the fullest extent of my vision. Goodbye. Yeah, as the bunny girl's on stage. Have fun. She's go he's going in the wrong direction. Okay. Let's see, do we have any other ones? What is this? Oh, we had to meet a guy at the Korean barbecue. Yeah, uh, uh, she, 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 Mano, not Shimano, she, somebody. She, somebody? Is this Club Sega? They want, I need to learn from that guy. Kid. Uh, Bantam. Who wanted to see me at the Bantam? I don't remember. Let's go. Oh, hey, guys. Hooah! Street gangsters. No problem for me. Welcome to the Dropkick Factory! I want to hit you with your other friends. Oh well. I don't know how to do stuff like that. Get conned! For safety's sake! Kick you. Kick you. Back to the kicking style. It's a good style. And ta-da! You're dead. Forgive me. I will not. Oh, Majima, where are you? Hello! Is that the woman the guy on the phone was talking about? Oh yeah, we were getting phone calls here. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? What do you mean controller disconnected? Okay, whatever. Can I help you? I was told you'd have a key for me. And the password is? That wasn't part of the instructions I got. I was kidding, lose it up a bit. If you're this tense about getting a key, there's no way you'll be able to pull off the hit. Stop repeating everything I say. You fool! <laughs> Just take the key and go. Received coin locker key C1. Got your key now. My job is done here. See you around, maybe. Hey, hold on. Who are you exactly? Look, I was only told by the guy on the phone to give you the key. That's all I know. So I want to keep it. Maybe if I open the locker, I'll finally figure out what's going on here. Yes! Show me where to go for the locker. <laughs> That's what I want. Uh, It's not on the map. Oh, I think I zoomed out a little bit. It's that one. Alright, well, let's go to the Korean bar to meet up with that person. Stop that. Stop stop beating up random people. It's not cool. Let's get this started. I did it! I did it this time! I was ready! Oh boy! Big murder. To start off the morning. Hello.
I got a cream colored bicycle. Now I got a broken bicycle. Now I got a bicycle wheel. You know, I actually really like how that transitions into different items, technically. This is like a slap. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Thanks. Slightly better gold bracelet. Alright. Probably over here is where I need to go. Oh, yes. I remember that busted place. Ooh, a Meso King card. Wait, no, I need the card. I don't care about this. No. Here we are. This is the place for meat in Camarucho. Wow, it looks pretty expensive. Are you gonna be okay picking up the tab here? Dude, I'm super rich. What's his name? I don't want to look him up. I'm doing that right now off screen. Shino Hira. Ah, he is a person. He's a, he's a retired judo. Okay. I knew he had to be somewhere. Cool. He doesn't sound like a voice actor. E. Wait, what? Just kidding. I've got money. You enjoy yourself. Let's do this. I'm gonna miss out on that yes, Esu King card. Can I take your order? Take everything. I mean, like one of every item on the menu? Oh, of course not. I want an amount of meat equal to the mass of one full grown cow. What? I mean, of course, sir. Would you like it with sauce or salt and pepper? Both! You want two cows? Right away then, sir. Oh, this, uh, dude, that's a lot of food. You Goku, man? Jeez. That was really delicious. What a great choice. Mm. Certainly have a way with food. Not many people out there could eat two whole cows of meat. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to do next? I'd like to get some drinks, actually. Okay, I know a good bar around here. I can take you there if you want. You know, you should know better than that. Man. If we're going to drink in Camarocho, it's got to be at a cabaret club. Yeah. All right, I understand now. I always wanted to go to a cabaret club, so this is my golden opportunity. Please take mm. me there. I suppose the closest one would be Jewel, so we can give that a shot. Go pick up that Mesu King card. Hey. Okay. No, wait. Fuck. No. 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 I don't want two cows worth of meat. Ah, salted tongue. Oh, spicy beef soup. Bibimbap. Oh. Roast it to a golden brown for an irresistible taste. I'm. Mm. Mmm. Sounds so good. Alright. Yo, I need this Mesu King card. Yes. It's the Devil's Flower Mantis. Alright, where is Jewel? Is this Jewel? Jewel right around the corner. Uh, just looking for Majima. I guess he's not hanging out over here. Well, that's fine. Let's go over here and do it. <sighs> Special luxury space. Well, we're here. <laughs> Let's have a good fight. What do you mean? Why are you yelling? I'm oh, sorry. Old habits die hard. I always used to yell all that when I entered a room. You know, I don't want you getting drunk and judo throwing anyone. <laughs> Flirty cabaret girl. You're so well bit. Do you play sports? Yeah. Well, sort of a long time ago I did. <laughs> well, a man was a muscle tub. I'll drink to that. Now we have champagne. What a dynamic man. One gold for this fine piece of man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold that order. No, that's not at all. But just one bottle? Let's not be stingy. <laughs> I'm sure the four of us could take on our own bottle each. So I think we need four golds. You know how to party. <laughs> Kiryu's like, this might have been a mistake. <laughs> Yo, that's like a hundred something thousand yen right there. To order four bottles of champagne. That was nothing out of the ordinary. If I go drinking, that's how I'm gonna do it. Party animal. Yeah, what's wrong? You didn't like the club? No, that's not it. Dinner and drinks were a lot of fun, but I haven't found anything that really excited me yet. Really like excitement. I'm going all the way to Camarocha to have some kind of fun I could have anywhere. Something only a city like this could offer. One kind of experience. Well, have you seen the um underground pleasure palace 
when you've gone so far to your way. Shoot is all I'd known, I'm sure you can see why I'm totally lost in a nightlife town. But I still want to find something more geared towards my interests. No, actually I might have an idea. I think I know a place that'll be pretty exciting for a martial artist like you. That's where I'll take him. Okay. Was I right? Yeah, I think I'm right. Oh, if I'm going to go there, I need to find a... Um, I need to find a wooden katana, remember? The heck am I going to find that? There's the pocket stadium. Club Sega. Serves drinks. Popo. Yeah. I haven't been to the headquarters. I wonder what happens if I try going there. Fresh fish, cafe for dates or business. Of Toko credit alone, shark. Shoten, uh, Shoji parlor for tactical minds? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I wanna, hmm. I'm just gonna, if we're Googling things today, fuck it. So, there is a arena? Or you can get it at the uh, pawn shop, which I'm assuming is somewhere. <laughs> pawn shop. Is, is it the Don Quixote? That's just a disco in store. Pawn shop. What is the arena? They said. Oh, we have to go down if we're going to the pawn shop. Yeah. Maybe that's not available to me at the arena. So we gotta go like straight down. Alright. No problem. Oh, hey guys. Sorry, but I need to go buy a wooden sword. <laughs> Let me bring you to your friend. Hey, hey! I was trying to... Hey! You guys are getting tougher. That's fine. Ah, oh, fuck me. Alright, come here. Whoa, all those people back there. This is what you get for instigating this. Ooh. Maybe I should... You know, I never did put this game back on normal, and this shit's getting tougher still. You better be sorry. Straight down, right? Uh, Where was it? <laughs> is it this place? No worries. I'm always looking for a fight, so I'm glad you guys raised my spirits a little bit. Have any of you seen Majima somewhere? What is this? Oh, it's Club Sega, yeah. Go play more Mesu King now that I have more cards. Oh. I'll, I'll fight you. Alright. Oh yeah, my iron pipe I bought. Let's go into... Ow. Mean mode. Yes. That's great. Oh, I got all three of them with one attack. Fuck yeah. Please have mercy. I will not. No mercy. Did beating you guys not even give me money this time? I didn't see the money counter. Go. Is this the punch up? I think so. Oh no, this is the... Oh no, it is. Okay, it looks like the uh, the fancy place, but it is a punch up. Look, I'm gonna help you buy something. I'm looking for a wooden sword. Ultra rocket flame! Chain mail. Okay. The nameless katana. Antique gun. It still functions. Fuck, I can get a gun? 
Thank you. Bye. Well, if we're over here, we should go to Club Sega. Maybe we'll be lucky and they have Bun Bun Chan or whatever. I think it's just Professor. Let me look at the thing. Oh, yeah, they have the little birds. Ah, uh, fucking camera. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Bumbling businessman. I know, let me go. Yo, switch to shit. Oh, there's a card on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Let me have this. It's Kuana's ladybug. Woohoo. Alright, Bun Bun Chan. Nope, it's just... What? How the... Mm. I don't understand this Bun Bun Chan thing. Is it just like luck that he puts it out or something? Do I have to go to a specific store? The birds again. The axolotl and the monkeys? No. Oh, that's some new stuff. Cool! Fuck it, new stuff. This is more important than anything else right now. Let's try and get this thing. This. Really tight in there. You're not gonna fit your claw. No, what the fudge? Yo! I got scammed. God, I really wish I could skip watching this. Disappointed. Try a little less over this time. It's gonna hit the uh, parrot thing a little bit. Yeah, shit. Knock him in. Knock him in! Two for one! Damn it. Oh my god. Okay. That might be too far over. Yeah, again, wasted a top opportunity. Come on, tip over. Oh, what? Ah! What the fudge? I have one more set. <laughs> Let's try it on the side now. Shall have you. Ooh. It's back heavy. Is he gonna slip out? No, I think that's a good good get. No! You oh you Screwed me. Um, a little bit. I have no idea what this is gonna do. Come on, give me this vampire. Also, kind of want one of these turtles. 
seems pretty generous. Stickiness. Yeah! Oh, I could have knocked the other one in. Kyanbo! Thanks. We got one more to do. We can try this turtle with the microphone. I feel pretty confident about that. Maybe I shouldn't. Ooh. Slip on in, thank you very much. It's... Kara Kappa. Alright. Okay. We're gonna ask him to change it once just to see. Chan? I can't see. Oh, yo, it's different axolotls this time. Yo, that one's got a hat and a mustache. The other one's got an apron. Yo, it's the... Yo, it's Total Biscuit. This top hat. No. under the chin. Come on. It's gonna slip out. Oh, no. Okay, there it goes. Oh, it fell in anyways. That's all that matters. <clears throat> huh? It's Woo Papa. Guess we can try for the lady. I shouldn't assume that, it's just pink. It's got lipstick on it. It's gonna be Woo Mama, isn't it? This is the axolotl family. Ah! Oh. You know, I'm a pro at these in real life. That's not true. Don't really want to move this at all. Uh, maybe should have moved it further back. Though I do like a good claw game. It's a little bit different in America than this kind of stuff. Ah, oh well. Alright, we're not going to do any more. Ask him one more time to change, though. This is my only lead on how to get Bun Bun Chan. Thanks for waiting. Bun Bun Chan? No. Alright. Do you have something for me, kid? Each game is 10,000 yen. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know if you might be another quest. Yeah. All right, I do have a bunch more cards, kid. Okay. Uh, oh, I can upgrade abilities. No, no. But this one, gotta go back up, right? To uh, yeah. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, Majima is hiding in plain sight. I forgot. That's what they said. That's why I'm not seeing him anywhere. You guys look like you want to fight. Let's fight. <laughs> they weren't sure about it at first. Normally don't hit a person with glasses. So, I'll try and do this quick. He's 
Excuse me. Back down you go. Now. Wakabayashi. Actually, you know what? Let's go red. It's been a while. Now that I actually have abilities, it's, it's easy. Look at that. He's crazy strong. Do I not get money for beating up these people anymore? So Kiryu's gonna be in the middle of the street in a disguise, an obvious disguise. I see something on the ground here. Oh, this is where I need to go, isn't it? These are the lockers. Obtain... Oh, these are the lockers. I finally found them. Okay, while we're here, let's do it. Switch which locker to open. Look how many keys I got. Nothing. Oh, it's a med med medieval silver coin. A sacrifice stone. Okay. A dagger. Okay. A brass knuckles. Cool. Another dagger. Got so many coin lockers. Gum received. One, two, three, gum. I don't have space. Set at the item box. The gum from an unknown maker. Using it increases the chances of your opponent of getting... Of your opponent getting a one, two, three in CeeLo? Whatever. One... All one's cream. All, excuse, all one's char. Using it increases your chance of getting an A sound in CeeLo. What the fuck is CeeLo? What's this big one? It's gotta be a big thing, right? A medieval painting. I, I could make a lot of money from selling it. Gentleman's Umbrella. I don't remember which one's part of the quest. Blackjack. Oh man, all these weapons. Stun gun. Black jewel. Okay. Let's sell it. Using it increases the chances for black to appear in roulette tables. Okay. Stone of Enduring. Okay. Guessing it's J1 is the quest one. Metal bat receipt. Maybe not. Didn't one of these... Wasn't one of these the quest? It's a knife. Oh. Already calling. Must be watching. Did you retrieve the item from the locker? Yeah! yeah! What am I supposed to do with this knife? It used to belong to a certain member of a certain family. We're going to use it on the job to make it more poetic. What job? He just said don't ask questions. Don't be ridiculous. The only jobs we ever contact you for all the ones that involve erasures. As soon as I find out the target's location, I'll be in touch. It's starting to sound dangerous. That dude in the alley that got beat up by some punks was a hitman? Seems unlikely. No? Good to know we know where the fucking coin locker is, though. Excuse me. Gotta be hiding something in plain sight. They, they said to make make something big. That's what they said. Oh, you're mad? Sorry for running into you. Ow! Ow! Yeah, I'm not even gaining heat in this mode. You guys can't hurt me. I'm in beast mode! Ow! Fuck. I said, you guys can't hurt me. Ow. Stop that. Okay. Go into red mode now. Nope, yeah, I can't do anything still. I don't have anything for this mode. I think I need to beat up Majima one more time. This is my first finisher when I was looking at the thing. Excuse me. Do I see anything in the road? I don't. Ooh, coin locker key. F1. Okay. Seemed like all the, the bottom row, since it was bigger locker, would be bigger valuable items. What? Dude, I was just picking up this key on the ground. Let's fast. It is pretty fun to be able to just fucking... 
do that. Get the fuck away. Coming at me from behind. It's not cool, Endo. But I don't remember how to do any fucking finishers with this form. Do I not have any? I must have at least one. Right? Um. Finish shack only usable when a boss. Oh, on a boss. Okay, I might not actually have any finishers for this mode, like regular finishers. These are all the boss finishers. Rising, running uppercut. Deliver a vicious uppercut while running. This can be charged to annihilate enemy. The crushing attack. Get back off the ground quickly from being knocked out. I think I did do that once, though. Let's do this. I want to I wanna do this. Ooh. Need a running start. Hey! I need a running start on you. Oh, I think it was there for a second. Ah, oh, fuck. Get away. Get far enough away so I can run. Cool. Hey. Trying to practice. Man, he gets a fast. Tachibana. Alright, whatever. D different kind of fight to be able to do the run thing. See, there I got money that time. Is he a demon? I'm hurt. Need to buy more fucking health items instead of all this random shit. Oh, yeah, that's me. Jesus. Goons. Ah, from behind. This spawning people from behind thing is not cool video game. Well, they get up so fast I don't get a chance to fucking... To, uh... Fucking do the, the thing. Come on! No! Now I'm doing my fucking uppercut. It's the only thing I do. Damn! Fuck! There we go. More moto. You better get worried, Harada. Alright, hey! Yeah, I don't know... I'm guessing I don't have enough uh, heat, heat gauges to uh, do the grab thing. Yeah, you should be sorry. What the fuck is that noise? Let's use another healing item. Alright. Take this guy to the underground fight club. Looking for anything in the middle of the street that looks obvious. Want, want some cash? Oh. Leave that dude alone. <laughs> Freaking out. Then he disappears. Oops, wrong form. I want this. I seem to be doing the best in this form, so... Fuck me. Oof. Oh, the headbutt. Okay, but big man, you broke my grip. Good job. Sorry, I won't do it again. Gold plate. Okay. Hey, man. Look at the weapon vendor. She'd be right up here, right? This stuff is essential to this town, am I right? What do you need? Take a look. Oh yeah, for the fucking... The thing. These are the fucking cards. Oh my god. This goes into inventory? Some protection when equipped on your torso. Okay. Maybe I should start getting some of this shit. I haven't been at all. Oh, 
I should probably buy that uh, toy car racer thing. Hello. Big homeless man. It's falling apart. Oh no, it's falling apart. Mm. Uh huh. Boy. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I was picking up my makeshift house here, but I made a mistake on the measurements and now it's not fitting together properly. It could fall apart at any moment. If only I had something I could reinforce the materials with. Some type of tape from that salary man in front. Um, nah. There's some super tape. Boy. Gave him the super strength adhesive tape. Uh -huh. Where'd you find this? This is tape is the This is the tape that this manufacturer I used to work at was developing. It's been so long. We used to say. It's the fucking music. With strong enough tape, you could even build a house. We threw our whole lives into creating the next generation of tape, and they really did it. I see, thank you so much. I really want to give you something. Will this work out? Silver brief, guys. I don't know what's inside, but it's all I've got. Okay. We gotta finish this quest line eventually. Okay. Silver briefcase. That's that camera. Ca camera. Camera! Fucking work with me, please. Hey, I got like a pipe. Is that good enough? Oh, wait, no, I did buy a wooden katana. What am I saying? Oh, oh my prized people are here for your next session. You brought the wooden katana. Let's do this! Uh, well. That was it that much trouble to procure it if you are ready, let us begin. Yes. Alright. This time I shall teach you the basics of the basics, the art of Komaki swordsmanship. Whoops, hit my mic there, sorry. Mm -hmm. I thought the Komaki style was unarmed martial arts school. Why would I need a wooden sword in a fist fight? Yeah, unarmed combat is indeed a vital aspect of our style, but let me ask you. Why do you think practitioners of our school fight with our bare hands? Mm -hmm. It's important to win without relying on weapons. Because you want your fist to be your strongest weapon? Oh, such a modern sentiment. Even the strongest man would perish before a gun. Can you truly be the strongest by mastering your fist alone? By that lo logic, all martial arts would have no meaning. <laughs> that is true as well. From ancient times, man has used tools to fight. Weaponless combat is not the way of civilization. But old western armies trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat too. In a world where iron weapons were developed. Why? To continue to fight. Even if their swords shattered or their quiver was emptied of arrows, a man's fists are not his strongest weapons, but they are the last weapon he has. Guess that makes sense. The founder of the Komeki style followed suit with other styles and started with sword fighting techniques. That sword play still exists and is taught to this day. But in order to master the Komeki style, you must first learn the basics of swordmanship. Only from there can you be taught to train the body, your final weapon. I see your point. Let's go. Draw your sword. Do this. Now, Kiryu, I have taught you the form. Try attacking me with the Komaki Slash Attack. Now your attack will have more power when using a katana. His bladed style passed down from the Edo period. The form improved stance increases the damage dealt by steel blades and wooden swords alike. Attack Komaki 20 times with his sword using axe or Y. Okay. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Nope. I don't have, like, a finisher with this. Maybe on three? Might be on three. One, two, three. No? Whatever. Okay! Prodigious! Make sure to remember the Komaki style basics. Got it. Well, progress to more intensive training. But first, bring me proof of your progress to receive your next lesson. It is a prize from the arena called the Image of Anesura. My next training session is going to be punching a picture of a Hindu spirit? Oh, it's not really that. Just need a picture. Well, the Komaki School has partnership with the Colosseum. I offered my treasure prizes, pictures as prizes on the condition that those who brought them could become my students. But no one brought it. I've been watching the registration area, but no one has expressed any interest in becoming my student, and they were such valuable paintings, too. If you want them back, just take them off the prize list. I could never take back something offered. Such shameful dealings are far beneath me. But my pride, too, you know? So you want me to go collect your old pictures by winning? I still think it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. You know nothing. Winning back those pictures in the arena serves as proof that you have trained by fighting those warriors. Why can't you understand this for your own good? And if you, as my student, make a name in the Coliseum, the contestants who lose to you may seek training from me. This is crucial for the future of Komaki School. Uh. Sounds like it's only for your benefit. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, this is all part of your training. You must bring me the image of an Asura. Asura. To prove your true metal. Now go out there and continue your training. Okay, so that probably gives us the uh, uh, Coliseum. Cool. 
Thanks. Experience points. Thanks. Let's go do this now. For Shinmaru or something. Shin Shinamaru? Something like that. Underground red light district. Sup, y'all? Don't mind me. Just passing by. Looking around if I ever missed any items. What is this weird thing here? It's weird. Is it a light? It's supposed to be a light. I think it's supposed to be a light. Okay, we're going over here for the fighting. Yeah. Where are we? An underground arena. Fighters from all over the world. Fighters come from all over the world. Day in, day out. It's a different kind of combative sport. Uh. Type of strength you'd never have faced in the world of professional judo is what you find here. If you're interested, you can enter. Where do you think your judo skills can take you? You amaze me to no end, Kiryu. Getting you to be my tour guide was the best decision I ever made. This is the kind of experience I've been looking for. I think this will be the kind of excitement I was craving. It's not like you're willing to give it a go. I'm going to enter right now. Cool. Oh, he's gonna... Amazing. You won those three matches like they were nothing. So even the fighters of this underground arena barely warm up for you. Yeah. It was really strong. I wouldn't say I won any of those matches with these. And why do you still look so dissatisfied? I'm not satisfied yet. Not even the fighters here could give me the experience and excitement I see. But I think I know what I want now. I know who would be able to bring me satisfaction. And that man is you! Man. First time we met, I saw everything. I saw you have torn down that punk. You moved like a dragon. It was amazing. You have something that none of the fighters here do. So you're... Oh, Mr. King card. Hey. Well, I am like the champion. Uh. I was figured it'd be like, oh, you fought through everyone. I guess that means you have to fight me now. I thought it was the line it was going to be. Wait, I need that Mesu King card. <laughs> Giraffe stag beetle. Well, well. All right. Ah, fuck it. Let's do it. Yes. Uh. Let's fight fair and square with nothing to hold us back. Shinohara. Oh, yeah. Shinchi. Wah. Why am I in Dragon Star? Oh, he's got a lot. Oh, fuck. He's got a lot. A lot of health bar. Haha. Come here. No! Fuck! I was blocking video game. Sorry for this little brutal... I know we just met, but here's a headbutt. Big mad now. Just flailing my arms around. Jeez. Don't know if I want to sit there taking that. Okay, back to this. Shit. Oh, no! I'm gonna have to use healing to beat him. God damn it. Fuck me. Ah, oh, man. It's really hard to build up for me. To build up fucking heat on him because he blocks everything and then he grabs. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Ah, oh, come on. Damn it. Oh. And then he has a combo, and then... Oh, there goes half my heat. Come on! I don't want to lose this. I didn't save. I'm gonna get up. No, I, I, I'm... Hitting fucking dodge button. It just doesn't care. It's one of the things I hated the most in these kinds of games. It's like, oh, you're stuck in a combo. Too bad, now you die. You know? It's, it's the thing I hated, I think, in Sekiro a lot. Like, at this point, we taught you hitting button does a thing, but not anymore. You know what I mean? Come on. Wow. 
Wow, this is tough. This must be it. This would probably be impossible for me on any other form. I'm gonna run out of healing, I think, before I defeat him. On any other form, I mean any other difficulty level. Come on. Get up. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is not good. Ah! I'm not gonna be able to beat him. I'm just gonna use my. I don't want to. I don't. I feel weird using these items. These these heat items. No. Come on. Let me grab him. <laughs> grab him. There we go. I need to do some damage on this fucker. Okay. I have to use the whole thing because I, uh, I can't, uh, um, I have to use a big one for a little bit of heat because I can't guarantee that I'll be able to gain any. You know what I mean? Alright, it's okay. Oh, he's still alive, technically. There we go. Uh, easy mode items. I knew you'd be. Gave it everything I had, but you still defeated me. No, your moves were more intense than I ever could have imagined. I am surprised I won, too. Glad. Come to Kamarocha. Does not mean you're leaving? No, I'm glad to stay here and keep my improving my skills. So that if I ever have another opportunity to fight you, I can make sure I win. Improving too. I haven't felt so alive since I retired. I'm looking forward to facing you again. No problem. We we done here? Okay, we're done here. <laughs> uh, I need to go buy more items. We'll appear in the underground arena. Well, I got a lot of XP out of that. Okay, so maybe it was worth it. All right, cool. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna end this shit. There's another person here now. I'm guessing he will fight for you if you'll fight. Oh, this is the Colosseum. I needed this. I don't have any points. I, I won the thing. Don't they remember I was here? I won the thing. Okay. I need to fight in the Coliseum. Um, exhibition. Screaming GP. Let's just do the difficult one. First match, Brian Higo. I need to get enough... Uh, uh, points so I can buy the thing. Special technique, double Typhoon. Shit, is he gonna be tough? <laughs> okay, he's not as tough as the other guy. What's that on the ground? Wait, what's that on the ground? What the fuck? Ah, oh, fuck off. Jeez! That was a lot of damage on that stomp. Holy fuck. I don't know what the heck I just picked up. I should have read the rules. Okay. He did a lot of damage on his stomp, dude. Did you see that? Semi-final. Shooting star. Okay, I don't want him. No, what? Grasshopper. I wonder if he's a fan of Mesu King. Oh, I did the face twist! It happened! Oh. That was bad. I evade the enemy's attack. I can't even get up. Not gonna pre no clouds. Plead, plead no cloud? Fuck me speaking. Okay. Who's next? Is it Screaming Mad George? Is this the Screaming GP? I don't know what else to say. It's some dude in a hoodie. It's the last apprentice! Oh, he's Komeki style. Okay. Okay. Hey, Kondo. Oh, 
sucked. Wait, wait, wait. I saw a thing here. Defense up. Ah. Stop booing. I'll kick him to kick him. All right. A good old knockout on the ground. Oh, fuck. I just did a heat action. Dude. All right. Good job. Do these pounds? Do the points? Do these points count as points for the points store? XP received. Fifty thousand yen. Oh, holy shit! Maybe I should do some of this on the side. Oh, good. I do have. To. Give me the image of Aster. Oh, it's two hundred points. I have exactly enough. Fuck me. Okay, I thought it was one point. I guess I read that wrong. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get back up to the top surface and save, and I think that's gonna be it for this video. It's been an hour of side quests and uh, running around and having fun. Didn't run into Majima, unfortunately. I was really hoping so, but I guess he's probably near where the um, uh, main story quest is. Can I do this now that I got the thing? It's not on the map, so maybe not. Gonna save though. That's gonna be it for this video. We said we were gonna do a thing where we did the, the side content and then the main stories. That's what we're doing. So this was the side content. Next episode, we're gonna do the main story though. I'm liking Yakuza Kiwami. It's fun. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, do please subscribe. We do daily uploads here on this channel. That's a new video every day, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you want to catch the next episode of Yakuza Kiwami though, it'll be day after next because we alternate our Let's Plays on this channel. That's uh, That means tomorrow I'm playing something else should watch that too you might enjoy oh excuse me sir yeah uh but that's gonna oh, i don't know. I have to see what she's got to say <laughs> definitely getting some bad boy vibes out of you you dress like a man with real presence the nonchalant demeanor the scowl that says don't ask me about my dark past badass dads yes amazing you're the very definition of a bad boy hold on a sec what is he talking about i think you look like a cool old guy I'm asking, what the heck is this bad boy old guy stuff you keep a saying? You're the, you're the poster boy of a badass dad. Yet you don't know how they are. Bad boys are so in right now. No, I've never heard of them. So you must be the kind of man who becomes a dilf without trying. You just rock the look naturally. See, the bad in bad boy is short for badass dad. A middle-aged man who's dangerous yet dandy, rugged but respectable. Simply put, a cool old guy with a bit of bad boy streak. And I see, they're appearing on TV shows, magazines, even in movies. Old men who kick ass have gotten really popular recently. I never would have thought. Me, a badass dad, how many years did I age in prison? I'm conducting interviews for a magazine and an article to seek out and determine who are the bad boys of Kamurocho. Wait, there's an actual criteria for that? Yes, I'm interviewing the hottest dilfs I can find. <laughs> then deciding whether they're truly bad boy material. Some men are just trying to ride the bad boy gravy train because it's trendy now, but they're not the real deal. I don't really get it, but it sounds really stupid. <laughs> oh, fuck. And I would definitely like to interview you. Interested? Man. Me? It's not as a ton of bad boys roaming around the streets. Why not stop them? Well, a lot of the men on these streets aren't bad boys. They're just bad people. <laughs> it's too dangerous to talk to most of them. So I wandered into this park. A super dangerous park. Find some more fatherly types here. So you came to the homeless area. Well, if I don't do something, this story I've been working on for months will fall through. So please help me out. And besides, if you turn out to be a true bad boy, you'll get a special prize. Fuck it, fine. We'll do one more thing. Really? It's gonna take up a good chunk of your time. Is that okay? Fuck it. This is hilarious. Thank you so much. Well, for starters, can you tell me your name and age? Kazuma Kiryu, 37. Magic 40, yeah? Perfect. Can you tell me about your priorities are in life as a badass dad? Priorities, uh... Where are the other guys answering? Let's see. The man I interviewed earlier said he'd make sure to wear sunglasses at all times, whether it's midday or night. He sounds like an idiot. That's not true. Some people say that sunglasses is number one must-have accessory for bad boys. I don't understand exactly what a bad boy is. Well, whatever. Well, it's my number one priority these days. My clothes, Majima-san. <laughs> Let's see, my eternal... I have had to prioritize Majima-san, though. That's not really by choice. This guy who keeps trying to kill me. 
trying to kill you. Did you do something to his family or some other thing like that? Yeah. Nah, it's not like that. Once upon a time, I got a little stubborn with him, and he kind of took a shine to me. But now, when we fight, I can't afford to pull any punches. And he's everywhere. It's actually kind of annoying. I don't really get it, but he sounded like an asshole. <laughs> Excuse me, a hassle. But due to this and that, I hadn't seen him for ten years. Yet even after a decade, he never fought me. Forgot me. When I think about it that way, it's not half bad. Can't tell if you guys are the best friends or arch enemies. But it's a complicated relationship, only men understand, and I think it's lovely. Mm -hmm. You bet, I mean, your answer doesn't really pertain to what a bad boy priority is in everyday life, but... Right. Next question. Dead curious how my next question is. Oh, it's the dandly, dandy homeless man. Hey, Elodie, folks, hold on a dang minute. I've been listening to you kids talking about bad boys and whatnot. You want a real man? No one beats the boss. A bad boy boss man, you say? You you stay put, I'll go fetch him. Curious <laughs> shaking his head. Gonna get fucking the florist all the way out here for this shit. Hey, Kiryu, getting interviewed, eh? You sure got a lot of free time on your hands all of a sudden. <laughs> well, she practically begged me to do it. So you're the boss that the man was talking about. I've been working on a story to find the best bad boys of Kamurocho. I watched the whole thing. So, miss, do you want to interview me too? That open robe, the scent of tobacco, I'm sensing an aura of badassery from you just as strong as Kiryu's. Maybe even better boy boy than Kiryu's. What the? Yeah, you think? I don't really get it, but why do I feel slighted? Uh, if your name? Oh, you can just call me the florist. I'm going to continue my interview with both of you. Uh, Fuck. Let me ask the both of you. Do you have an interesting bad boy story you can share? Something like a heroic exploit? The Sheriff Force, let's see. I was walking in town the other day when a young thug and a woman tried to mug me, demanded my wallet and everything. Are they threatening you for being an older man? Yep. But my job is eavesdropping, taking can of so I aired his dirty laundry on the spot. Stuff like his purchase history of pornography, the identity of his favorite sex worker, and the most recent sex acts he'd enjoy with said worker. Some real kinky shit. Then his little partner in crime got disgusted. She said, You sick bastard, I can't believe it. Then they started to argue, and I went along my merry way. You're pretty brutal sometimes. You've got your fist, I've got my facts, too. Though, to be fair, that girl was cheating on the thug with multiple guys. Can we bag this up? Candid photos, eavesdropping? That's your job? What exactly? Oh, do you really want to know? No. Just pretend I never heard all that. But that incident does qualify you for bad boy status. Okay, Kiri Sam, what about you? Kiri, you think you can beat my bad boy story? I went, on a, I went on a rampage at a funeral. I beat up punks on a daily basis. <laughs> I really want to say this one. Uh, not long ago, I went on a rampage at my ex-boss's funeral. Such a somber time, what exactly would you do there? I was falsely accused of shooting someone and got surrounded by men who were ordered to kill me. And someone I trust told me to escape, so I had no choice. Sorry to butt in. Is this really at a funeral service? Yeah, it made the news. Okay. Get that it was a bizarre situation, but going with me isn't being badass. That's just disrespectful. Yeah, I figured that's what she'd say. Then again, based on what you've already told me, you either senseless or outright insane. Think before you act. Well, that's... You just read him like a book, miss. No matter what the reason, don't go rampaging at funeral services anymore, or anywhere for that matter. Yeah, I got it. Question is? Oh, it's Date Sai! Oh fuck, he's gonna join in! He's the, the baddest, daddest asses ever. Hey guys. What are you doing here? Just out on a quick patrol. Interviewed as a bad old boy, old guy. Come again? Uh, he's a cop. Currently interviewing men for a magazine. They really did mean this was going to take long when they said so. So you're finding the badass dads of Camarocho, eh? Older men are in right now. Tough guys with a heart of gold like Kirisan and Mr. Florist here. Everyone from teeny boppers to grandmothers are going wild for silver foxes on the silver screen. Now that you mentioned it, Saya was telling me the other day all the girls are into older guys. Is that your daughter? Hey, wait a minute. Does that mean Saya is into guys like Kiryu and the Florist? Well... No, no comment. Why are you fucking checking your color? Uh? No! She can't! I do not approve! Besides, I'm the very distant of a badass dad. You guys aren't bad at all. You're the police officer here. How are you anything but a boy scout through and yeah. through? I'm a loose cannon cop. A maverick on the police force. I'm always taking heat from the chief for defying orders. On top of that, I got drunk and failed to meet up with my daughter the other day. 
Oh, he's being a bad boy. If that's the case. Uh, I forgot my friend's birthday one time. <laughs> I forgot my wife's anniversary. For how much of a bad boy you are, this is having the opposite effect. Come on, that's not what being a badass dad is all about. Standing up to your daughter, forgetting your anniversary, that's more bad guy than badass. Ugh, oh, fuck me. This is hilarious. Wipe that smirk off your face. You should never forget a friend's birthday either. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, why am I the only one who gets yelled at? Among Us would make the best bad boy anyways. Why do you ask? I think we need to decide who the best badass dad is. It's kind of important right now. I'm in. And starting now, instead of just sitting around and trying to one-up each other, we battle for the ultimate bad boy. Can't just change my story. Don't be so uptight. I think it makes more sense if you ask me. It's much more interesting, don't you think? I really think so, but I came here to interview men, not adjudicate your egos. <laughs> then how about this? You can continue the interview by asking each of us a question. Then the three of us will answer the question, and the one who gives the best answer will get more badass dad cred. I see, that sounds fair, do you think? Mm. Oh, it's settled. Well, you really have to do what it, I've already planned, which was to ask some questions and get some answers. Yeah. Which one of us is most worthy of the title? Ultimate bad boy. Let's get to the questions then. Ask the one I've been keeping for the back burner for the end of my interview. What do you think is the most important thing to, to a bad boy? Oh, it's an important thing. Too easy. Then go ahead and answer first. Financial power. I mean money. Human nature to gain more confidence as you acquire more capital. As self-worth grows with net worth, it creates an image of the respectable adult male dandyism. Having both makes you the kind of man that girls want and boys want to be. Money leads to confidence. Confidence makes you dandy. So dandyism is not just about clothes, it's the attitude of an older, more refined gentleman. And that dandyism is what makes a badass dad so cool, is that what you're uh. saying? That boy is financial power. <laughs> a man with no money usually has no confidence. Just look at that homeless and just look at the homeless in purgatory. Sure, they're good guys, but badass dads, not on one of them. Dan, you've got me. I make tons of money underground here. So, sorry guys, but my, I'm confident my level of raw dandyism is just too high for you two to even compete. <laughs> He makes a pretty convincing argument. What do you think, Date-san? <laughs> you know, nothing. Florist of Psy. True that financial power is important. Financial power is important to badass dads. No doubt about it. As far as the most important thing goes, close. But no cigar. Most important thing to a, a bad boy, that'd be to have a loving family. What's Date-san even talking about? Listen, what a true coal... Oh, what a true cool old guy needs is the heart to love his family and a family that loves him back. No matter how much money and confidence a man might have, it is all for nothing if there's no one to share it with. A boy can only become a real grown man when he has a partner to care for and a family to protect. So a guy without a loving family is only half a man. Compared to a real bad boy, he'd be out of his league. In that respect, I've got a wife and a daughter to protect. How about you, Kiryu? Well, I... Got some street cred, but you've never been married. Without domestic experience, Junior, it's too early to call yourself a badass dad. But lots of dandy men, aren't they? Married. There are a ton of bachelors out there. Charming. All kinds of women. They've still got some real swagger to them. So I don't think a badass dad necessarily has to be married with children. She's right, and you're talking like you're some kind of respectable family man, but until recently you weren't getting along with your wife or daughter at all. Well, that was because... I'm the clear winner here. As a lead, at least for now, you're up, Kiryu. You have a better answer? Most important thing for a bad boy is... Going to a tanning salon every day, having less common sense than normal men. I have no clue! Going to the tanning- I don't want to answer- I have no clue, I guess. More, less common sense than normal men. I have no clue. I'm just going to be honest here. I have no clue. I don't get what a bad boy actually is, so there's no way I know what the most important is. Waste all my time interviewing you. You're gonna take the who cares attitude now? Sounds like you've given up on winning this oh. battle. That's true, he's out. Hey, wait. Damn, I guess that wasn't a good idea, to be honest. Left is already declared which of us is the most worthy of being called the ultimate bad boy. Gulp. The florist. I answered wrong. It should be going to the tanning salon every day, I'm guessing. Huh? And right on the money, literally. That sucks, but it is what it is. Special prize for the florist. Oh, fuck! What's the consolation prize? You got a wild shirt. Yo, it's something Majima would wear. Keep it, it dandy as the ultimate badass dad. Forever a cool old guy. I'm sure you'll be just dandy. Please excuse me. Damn it, I answered it all wrong. I failed. Kiryu, well, he's not a dad. No, he's just badass. He's not even that old. 
yet. I'm sure it was a natural magnetism dandyism that drew in all the ladies of Purgatory in the first place. I haven't seen a single lady here. <laughs> Maybe you two farts could learn a thing or two from me. Who knows? You'd end up more popular with the ladies. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, whatever floors aside, come on with that. Get back to the station. Yeah. Alright. Jesus, that added like 10 minutes to the video. Cool old guys are currently in, huh? Maybe I should check out a men's magazine and see what all the fuss is about. What? I'm gonna go Google it, what I should ask. But I'm gonna do that on my own time. I got a, still got a lot of XP. Fudge. Alright. Done for reals now. Where's the save point? Uh, I did the outro. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope to see you soon. I'm not badass enough. Bye-bye now.